Hi peeps, welcome back to another episode of Mental Health Naps. My name is Kaisa, and this is where we talk about things that have to do with mental health or sleep apnea or other difficult things by focusing in on one word and its definition to guide us through some kind of conversation. And the word of the day is actually rest. And here are a few definitions of the word rest. Freedom from activity or labor, a state of motionless activity, peace of mind or spirit. So if you notice, I'm not in my usual place where I do my videos. I'm actually sitting in my round chair, okay? I have, I'm in my living room. And this chair, this is where I have a lot of pillows. This is where my heating blanket resides. This is my, this is my spot. This is, this is where I vibe. And something that I have found very, very important as far as taking care of my mental health is to have a place where I can rest. Not nap necessarily, though don't get me wrong. This place, I've napped in a ton. A place where my mind can just be quiet. It can just go numb. Something I've learned over the years as far as dealing with depression or anxiety, it can be really difficult to find a place to escape. And escape kind of can be a bad thing, but it can be very difficult to find a place where you can find peace. And you can find a place where you can separate yourself from what's going on around you. What I mean by this is when I am sitting in this chair, I don't work. I try to only do things that are stress relieving for me. I try to be in a place in this chair that I can just recharge. Like that is what this whole space is for. Now it can look different for everybody. Actually, I believe that it looks different for everybody. Some people it's their bedroom or it's their bed or maybe it's their bathroom. I don't know, it's up to you. But something that I've learned over the years, it is very important to have a place where you are able to mentally relax because just as much as it is important for you to physically rest from hard work and labor, it's just as important to do the same thing for your mind, for your brain, for the sake of your mental health. And I remember before I learned any of this as far as the importance of rest for your mind, it always felt like I needed to be going for the same thing, this hustle culture, this, so you completed this, so what's your next big thing? And for a long time, I was very much like scheming and planning and plotting as to, okay, so I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna do this. And it seemed like every time in conversation that I had with somebody and they would say, so you're doing this and you're almost done, so what's your next big thing? And I kind of found that I lost myself in that and I kind of realized that, you know, even though I felt tired and even though I felt like what I was doing was not enough, it was just something else to put on my, sh on my sheet of accomplishments, on my resume or whatever, I felt like I was shoving down how I was doing mentally and I was pushing it aside. I was doing a lot of power through it. Eventually that all caught up with me. Granted, I didn't know that I was suffering from severe sleep apnea, which was triggering my anxiety and depression in a big bad way. I didn't know all of that. And now looking back, I realized just how much that was hurting me. But at the same time, my inability to give myself a rest was compounding it and making making it even more worse. So I physically collapsed. I got to a point where I couldn't function anymore. And I had to stop everything. I couldn't move on to the next thing. I couldn't in conversation tell the person what my next big plans were. At first, that was something that was really hard for me to swallow because I felt like I had to be a certain way to be accepted. That I had to keep running from thing to thing to thing, you know, to get any kind of respect. And I think that's 
something that as a collective we need to work on. Not that I'm any expert, that I'm just speaking from my own experience. But I know for me, I realized what is the point of going from thing to thing to thing if I'm not able to take care of myself physically and mentally along the way only to set up for myself to be sick later. Like that doesn't make sense. And I realized that when I wasn't taking the time to take care of myself or I wasn't actually going for answers to get help with my depression or anxiety, later sleep apnea, I was doing myself a disservice in the long run because what I was doing or what I was trying to accomplish wasn't at a very high quality. That would have been if I would have done things slower, if I would have done things being more mindful of my mental and my physical health because sleep apnea is very much a physical health problem. For me, that is not something that is ever going to go away. That is something I have signed up for for life. Not by choice, but... <laughs> It's just something that has happened to me. I realized that if I was going to make a quality life for myself that allowed me to balance my mental health and my physical health, dealing with this chronic condition that I do have, I would have to learn to give myself breaks without feeling guilt. I would have to take a step out of what people see as being the greatest thing, which is busy. I would have to take things slower. I would have to approach life differently to make room for what looks healthy for me. Moral of the story is, make sure you give yourself a timeout. Make sure you give yourself a place to rest. If you have comfort items, make sure you have access to those. It can look like anything. I mean, I have my TV <laughs> with my chair and my heated blanket. That is, that is me. That is my rest. When I am here, I am not working. I am not scheming. I am just repairing my mind, my body, giving myself the ability to keep up with everything that I want to do because breaks and rest equal accomplishments that I want. Anyway, that's all I have to say about rest for today. I hope you have a very good day, a very restful day, and until the next one, have a nice nap.